So I am back from ISTE. Um, sorry about this weird shadow here. I am actually still in Pennsylvania. I'm at my brother's house. Um, by the time this goes up, I'll be back home. But um, my original plan was to do a reset video, um, a full on regular reset video going through the process um, with my friend Bruce, who's a wee video ambassador. And then I don't know if you've been to ISTE before, but I got there and just craziness, crazy town, so much going on that wasn't gonna happen. So, um, yeah, I decided that the video instead, we're gonna do kind of just a vlog style video so you can kind of see what happens and some of the highlights and some of my pictures and all those sorts of things. Um, I had Bruce talk a little bit about what it's like to be an ambassador. We are both uh, ambassadors for WeVideo. WeVideo does pay um, our, our registration to go to ISTE. Um, I would not be able to go otherwise. ISTE is cost prohibitive. My school wouldn't pay for it. I certainly don't have the money for it. So we are very fortunate um, to have that opportunity. Um, but I want to make sure that I fully disclose that. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with other brands and, and how they run things, but that's certainly how it, how it works in our case. Um, so yeah, a little insight into what, uh, what the life was like, uh, what the experience was like. I did present at ISTE on Monday morning. Um, and overall it's pretty fun. You can probably hear my voice. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit worn out, a little bit too much talking. So, um, yeah, check it out. ISTE in the vendor booth and I am really really tired. I am exhausted um, Partly just from standing all day, but also just from talking to people. It really kind of wears you out, but this is our booth So you can see that um, I'll be in here like all three days, but I do love talking to teachers that come up and everything it's pretty fun. I'll have Bruce with me tomorrow, so I'll have another um, We Video ambassador to, to hang out with and talk to teachers. And honestly, people have been so nice. People came to my presentation this morning and they've stopped by the booth and they've um, been so supportive and they, you know, gave me really positive feedback even though I get super self-conscious. So, uh, day one, success. Thanks for your training with the hashtag Flipgrid Live and Flipgrid Fever. We want to see you. Our online audience, we want to hear you. Everyone, we want to hear you. Woo! That means the first rule of Flipgrid Live is you talk about Flipgrid Live. Woo! I am here representing Atlanta, home of Dr. Martin Luther King, Peaches, Coca-Cola, and a mayor named Keisha. I'm able to have virtual PLCs by just creating grids 
putting out questions, using it to share resources, and allowing teachers to collaborate. of Wednesday. It is our third day here at ISTE and I am here with Bruce. Hey, hey Bruce Reicher here. How are you? <laughs> and I promised him that I will totally have him on an episode another time where we can talk way more in depth about his awesome, uh, what would you, announcements, news studio? Um, TV news program that we do. Yeah. So more about that later, but we're going to talk really quick about what it's like being an ambassador for um, one of these tech companies at ISTE. So you can see we got all of this stuff going on and it's kind of insane um and bruce and i both uh volunteer with we video Hi. hello um and people are always very interested in in how that works so bruce how did you become an ambassador to become an ambassador um i basically use the product of we video and then i just like inquire to them do you have any type of teacher training program if you do then i would like to be a part of it and I would highly, like, highly suggest whatever software you use in your school, like just email the person at the company or if you have like a contact, I just emailed them there out in California and said, hey, I would like to come help we video do training. And they told me, hey, do you know we have an ambassador program? I didn't even know they had a program. Yeah. I would agree because I think that most of the stuff that like I come across and opportunities I've had, it's companies that I already like, already use. It's not like I'm going to go shill for them. It's like I really just like the product and I think when you reach out to them you can have all these unique experiences and things that happen. Pick a software that you're like passionate about and you use because I think that like comes across and we just spent a couple of days here at ISTE and they did have we video people that work for the company but people came to us because they're like the teachers are like right there like yeah. go ask them what they're doing with it. Yeah. It's a totally different conversation when it's teacher to teacher. Speaking of things that happen what's the best thing that happened to you this year at ISTE? Favorite part of ISTE hands down besides meeting Jen is that Eric Kurtz came over after his 50th birthday today. He's like my favorite person to get all different types of information from. I followed him for years and um, it's a little fanboy face to face, but I'm still glowing a little bit. I'm totally gonna go into this video now and I'm gonna post like right up here, our little our little selfies. Gonna be like, blue with little hearts. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> well, thank you, uh, thank you Bruce for appearing in our little ISTE uh, vlog. Um, my video, my original video plan kind of went haywire because it is so crazy here and you just can't, it, it's overwhelming. So hopefully this is a, a little, a little insight into what it was like. No, I'm so psyched that we told everybody about ISTE. So how can people reach you? Oh, great question. <laughs> the best way to reach me, I'm big on Twitter, is just at B Reicher, B-R-E-I-C-H-E-R. -E -E just follow me on Twitter and really for EdTech things. I do everything like on Twitter. I don't do so much of some of the other um, platforms, but Twitter is amazing to connect with people. And even people like Eric Kurtz, I mentioned before, and even uh, people from WeVideo, I would like DM them with questions and yeah. they get back to you right away. It yeah. creates a really cool relationship. Yeah, Ab absolutely. And I will uh, put all, I will link to all of Bruce's stuff in the thing below. So yeah. Be sure to like it, subscribe to it, and make sure you follow this person because this person knows everything Google and everything also we video and green screen. Mm -hmm. If you haven't before, go see her green screen videos because I don't even know how she does half the stuff on we video with it. Mm -hmm. And then say hi to Scott. Hi guys, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to subscribe to the Reset EDU channel for the latest project updates and episodes. If you're interested in a reset for your own classroom, be sure to fill out the form at bit.ly forward slash reset edu. Thank you for watching.